No, as you can see here, as I am squinting, the snow coming uh, down, still pretty heavy. The wind picking up as well. We're here at Old World Third and State Street here. Yeah, nothing like a nice little snowstorm here, right in the middle of rush hour. But you know what? I think people making the best of the situation, taking it very slow. And you can see just how slushy and slick it is out on the roads. Uh, you know, the plows—they're not out yet, just not quite enough yet. So until then, DPW crews are going to continue to put down some salt. But as you can see, it's not really effective at the moment because it's just coming down too hard and, and too fast here. But you can see the buses, you know, people are slowly but surely getting to where they need to go. I would say we may have close to two inches on the ground here and it is fluffy but it does make for some slick conditions because if you're kind of stopped at a light here and then you try to start up the wheels there you might encounter a little bit of the tires spinning there and that's just because there's uh, some snow accumulation on the ground. That's the latest here in downtown Milwaukee. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, Hillary, thank you. And you know, the snow has been even heavier to our south. Well, let's go to Racine County. Meteorologist Chris Gloniger is there right now. Chris? Patrick Melinda, in the last half hour, I want to show you the area that I cleared. There's over an inch, close to two inches. So I'd say we're seeing three to four inch per hour snowfall rates here. Uh, it is just dumping. This is 94 headed northbound. The taillights, all lanes are covered. And when you see these snowfall rates, Highway crews, we've seen convoys of plows. They've been doing a great job, but you just can't keep up with it. You're really forced to drive slow. Uh, looking at these conditions, I'd say there's several inches of snow. If you see that tractor trailer rolling by right there, he's kicking up a lot of snow as he travels northbound. So that's what you're dealing with. If you haven't left and if you didn't head out the door just yet and we're seeing Kenosha and our western counties, it will be ending soon. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'd give it another hour or two, and we are in good shape. We're reporting live in Racine County by Highway K. Meteorologist Chris Glottinger, WISN 12 News. And there are long delays on the roads. The travel times are scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Matt Salimi is on Traffic Watch live from the roads. Matt. Yeah, I 94 eastbound. We were on it a little earlier, and that travel time was up over an hour from Highway 16 into downtown. We were going about three miles an hour, so now we decided to get off and test one of the alternates, Wisconsin Avenue. Now, it's still snow packed, but we've been going about oh, 15 miles an hour when we don't catch a red light. So, moving a little bit better along the uh, side streets right now than it is on the freeway. Travel times ugly everywhere. 41 minutes right now on 43 south off of Brown Deer down to I 94. That's normally a 12 minute ride. 19 minutes on 94 north on 7 Mile Road, delayed 24 minutes from the airport into downtown, and a 17 minute trip, usually 4 minutes, as you make your way from 84th Street East to the Mitchell Interchange along 894. So you get the idea. You're going to need plenty of extra time. One spin out remaining, being cleaned up right now, 94 southbound at Grange. So heads up for that and take it a little bit slower. You're going to end up just like that person.